This is actually pretty inventive. This panel proposes injecting an apple with helium to make it lighter, similar to how balloons go up when filled with helium, and by doing that we will save money when paying for it. Quick disclaimer, helium is a dangerous substance. Please don't go anywhere near it without proper training and safety measures. Injecting helium into fruits isn't just wasteful, it's potentially hazardous. Doing something like this may be considered illegal, so don't do it. First of all, helium is crucial to all kinds of technologies, like MRI scanners and semiconductors. Its production, however, is very limited, and because of that, helium is quite expensive. If you can't afford something like apples, you certainly won't be able to afford helium. But for the sake of the argument, let's ignore that. Helium is indeed very light, weighing about 0.17 grams per liter at standard temperature and pressure. For reference, a typical party balloon contains about half a gram of helium. Now this is important. Helium doesn't actually fly. It's the air around it that pushes it up. Since helium is much less dense than air, it experiences buoyant force like a cork in water. The more a balloon inflates, the more volume of air it displaces and the more buoyant it becomes. Fun fact, hydrogen gas is twice as buoyant as helium and also cheaper. Only problem is, it's highly flammable. And that's why for safety concerns they use helium instead. Alright, here's the deal. Since it's a gas, you would need room for the helium when injecting it into something or else it would just leak out. Even assuming the helium stays in, buoyancy as previously explained works by displacing air. Fruits are already filled with matter and unlike balloons, they aren't going to expand and thus won't displace any air. Because of that, injecting helium into a fruit will add mass to it without changing the volume, thus making it heavier. But there is a better idea. You could pack whatever you want inside the package and then attach helium balloons to it to make it fly, essentially an airship. 